Ladies and gentlemen, Chris Merrick out the yeah, building! Hell yeah! Good evening, everybody. What's up, buddy? How are you? Fine, I hope you too. It's 2 a.m. in the morning here in Germany, and I'm up for 22 hours, I guess, but I hope I'm fit enough to speak English fluently. Dude, I never I never realized that your accent was that strong, but I, I appreciate you staying up late. Hopefully you had some coffee and you're ready to rock and roll. We're going to jam yeah. some of your music. Uh, I noticed that most of the time when we play your stuff, it's it's mostly instrumental. But every now and then you do dabble in a little bit of vocals. Do you do you prefer to do vocals or you just prefer to uh, primarily do instrumental music? Um, I'm, I think I like both. But uh, I guess some uh, songs are better with just instrumental stuff. I guess it's it's gives me more more opportunity to to uh, work with melodies, harmonies, and my vocals are okayish. I I, I got uh, a, a teacher some years ago, but um, I I'm not the best singer, so I guess sometimes it's better to be or to stay instrumental. How do how do you start a song when you when you go about your writing process? What do you because you seem like a man that can play many instruments. I imagine you can play guitar and bass and probably are fluent in MIDI and some other stuff. How does a, a Chris song begin from scratch? Um, uh, in, in most cases, I, I got a, a special mood, um, a breakup or I'm down or I'm waking up and, and got a melody in my mind. And, and then I start taking my guitar, playing some chords, playing some melodies. And then I think, yeah, Sounds pretty cool. Take my iPhone, record some stuff, and then start tabbing it in programs like Guitar Pro to keep it in mind. And well, some some time later, I, I take it uh, take it um, yeah, and, and and work further on. And sometimes it's it, it develops into a song, and sometimes it's just some riffing and some melodies that stay there for five, six, eight years, and then. Maybe it then develop into a song. Really, that long? Interesting. Uh, Metallic is my my co-host today. He goes by Justin, but his his stage name Hello. is Metallic. Hello. Uh, before I play a song, Chris, I'm going to see if he has any questions for you. I, I produce music as well, so uh, I kind of get what you mean about everything being like you not being great at singing and you're better working on just like instrumentals and stuff. I'm the same way. I, I w I've tried singing. I just can't get it down. Sometimes I'm I'm trying to find a guest singer. For example, some of my songs got a good friend of mine, Nadine. There's a song Tales of a Girl or the song Without You. And um, yeah, next year I'm 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 planning to release an album and there I will be hopefully uh, have some more guest singers. Maybe I, I'm, I'm, I'm working on it. Cool. Hell yeah. We might know some people over nice. here in the States that'd be down to jump on something if you need a specific style. But uh, tell me about Tales of Loss and Tragedy. That's the first one I'm going to play. Who does your animation for these videos? Yeah, the animations um, were done by my brother. And the drawings came from a um, drawing artist called Rebecca. I worked with her some two years ago, I guess. <laughs> Uh, on a, another video called Shattered, and um, I, I wrote her at the end of last year and, and asked, hey, can you do some more drawings for me? I'd like to have another drawing and an animation video for my song Tales of Loss and Tragedy, and she, she said yes. And um, in, in that case, does she does she hear the track and and just and draw what she hears in her head, or did you kind of guide her like I kind of want these kind of drawings? I had some kind of story in my mind. I told her that and asked her if it makes sense. And it's, it's mostly um, my story that she draw. Very cool. Let's check it out. Do you submit your so stuff well to be... I'm sorry, Metallic. It is so well produced. It's And it's very beautiful for <laughs> how very dark much. it is. It, it has like this classical beauty behind it with the darkness of a gothic theme do you do you submit your stuff to be in like 
scores for movies or background scenes for films or TV shows or anything? I tried. I, I registered at pages like uh, Artlist, I guess. And, and most of these pages declined me for being not uh, mainstream enough. Really? You'd, yeah. think, you'd think because we're, we're not mainstream, the checks would be a little bit less and they'd look for those artists. I, of... I guess I was too dark. I don't know. Uh, there Keep was trying. A sentence. Keep, don't give and, up. Keep and, trying. It's going to happen. Yeah. It's going to happen for real. Uh, Chat wants to know, what's the most dominant music genre in Germany right now? Uh, I'd say... I guess hip hop. Really, hip hop. It's 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 lots of it got lots of chart positions. Hip hop style or pop music influenced by hip hop, rock a, a bit, but not many. Metal. Uh, okay, when Rammstein uh, releases a new album, it's it's um, first place, but um, it doesn't happen so often. I do want to do some trivia with you, Chris, but I'm going to let you pick the topic before we play another one of your songs. Uh, the trivia, though, you get to pick what is your favorite movie or TV show? Something that we would probably know that I can look up where if I ask you trivia about this movie or TV show, you will not get stumped. Okay, my favorite TV show. I, I like TV shows more than movies. Uh, because you got the time, you got the build-up, character development, and stuff like this. Movies are kind of short sometimes, and it's happening so fast, so many things. Um, Stranger Things. Interesting. Okay. Give me a second. Give me a second to look up some Stranger Things. Here we go. Let's play uh, Let's play Tales of a Girl featuring Nadine Hope. But it always has like just a little bit of that darkness to it. Which is what yeah. I, which is what I appreciate. You always find a way to work in the darkness, and I love that. Straight, I straight. I have, a, I have another question for you. Yeah. Um, how how could I be able to read one of your songs? I I, I heard it acoustically a bit bad. Could you please repeat? How how could I uh, remix one of your songs? Just ask, and I uh, l take a look if I got all the uh, single tracks, and I, I send to you, and then go on. <laughs> he said he's in. He's in. Send him the track out. Let's get it going. <laughs> Let's get the metallic okay. metallic remix. I'm actually <laughs> I'm actually interested in this song right here. Okay, Tales of a Girl. Hell yeah! You guys will 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 make sure you guys link up for sure. Um, yeah. Stranger Things trivia. In season two, the boys go out trick-or-treating. Max is with them. What song is playing while they are trick-or-treating? It's a famous Halloween song. In season two. Season two. Ooh. Gotta go back a little bit. Way back. Uh, they played the Ghostbusters theme. It is not the Ghostbusters theme that we're looking for. I'll give you a hint, though. It says, uh, the boys are out trick-or-treating, and Dustin and Lucas have invited Max, a girl they both have a crush on. This annoys Mike, who complains to Will before Will stomps off. And there's a there's a Halloween song playing in this scene. Oh, my God. <laughs> Chat's already no gotten it. Chat's already gotten it correct. I just want to see if we can get you. I think that's a stump. The answer is Monster Mash. Uh, okay. No worries. Yeah. We'll try one more in a bit. Had you gotten it correct, we would have spin this wheel right here, but this one goes out to Lizzie. Chris, do you have any tattoos? I got three tattoos. Which one hurt the most? Can we see it if it's not in a, uh, a certain spot? You know? uh, oh, all good. My Metallica and Justice for All cover. I hope you. Oh wow! Did. How how many hours is that one? Two days and some ten hours. Ten hours. Yeah. Some some painful spots there for sure. It was my first one, so I I wasn't uh, expecting what I was doing. No. Um. But was was my first one and and. Um, it hurt the most. The other ones didn't hurt so much. For sure. 
If uh, if somebody had never heard your heard your music before and we can't play a song we've already played, what would you suggest we jam? Okay, Ooh. Burning June. Burning June. Why this one? It's 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 a bit more heavy metal, speed metal style. Uh, some riffing, melodies, harmonies, and vocals from me. Let's do it. Sounds- I love it. I love it. Hell yeah. Let's try. Let's Thanks. try one more. One more Stranger Things trivia and see if we can get you one more time. Okay. Okay. Do you remember Bob? Bob was in love with with Joyce for a while. Obviously, Bob's not in the show anymore. But your trivia is Bob Newby. What type of business did he run? What was the name of his business? The name. It, it was a radio and TV shop. But the name. Oh God. Oh my God. You're half. You're halfway there. You're halfway no there. Radio. I know, I know. Only it's 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 a radio and TV shop, but the, the exact title don't know. I'm gonna give it to you. Give me a hell yeah. <laughs> radio. They might not have those in in Germany. I don't know. Radio Shack. He was really close. Radio Shack was the answer. Do you listen to dubstep at all? Uh, a bit. A little bit? Yeah. Is cannabis legal in Germany? Nah, they are working on it for years, but not really. Not really, for sure. Um, well, I'll queue up a dub song when the interview's over, but because uh, I want to keep jamming some of your stuff. What is, what is a style or genre that you haven't gotten into that you are considering doing in the future? Yo, BG, I'll be right back. Sure. Um, a genre I'm 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 doing in the future, or I'm I would do I wouldn't do in the future. How about both? I wouldn't do would be hip hop. So I I can't rap, and I'm more into the uh, guitar style music. And a genre I'd like to do mm, maybe a bit more electronic stuff. Before I played guitar and and was into rock and metal, I produced. I was a teenager. Some some electronic dance and trance uh, music. And sometimes I, I I'd like to do s- um, another song in the genre. But mostly I got so many ideas for rock and metal music that I got no time for doing this. But maybe someday. Would you ever have like a rapper on one of your songs though? Yeah, as a color, sure. Cool. Hell yeah. Do you do you uh, play any video games? Yeah, definitely. What do you, what on do, PC and Switch. What do you play? At the moment, Neo Automata on Switch. That, what would you say is like just a couple of the best games ever made? Baldur's Gate, a role play game on PC. Um, Half Life Two. Classic. Um, New Automata. <laughs> um, so many great games. It's it's hard to pick. Yeah. Half Life Two was what, what was uh, the Orange Box? What was the yeah. what was the multiplayer game that was part of Half Life Two? Uh, Team Fortress Two, I guess. Was yes, it? Team Fortress. Yes. Dang, I used to play that one a bunch too. Hell yeah. Uh, Metallic, do you have any more questions for Chris? So, have you ever produced any electronic music music genres similar to dubstep or anything like that? Not yet. I, I kind of uh, asked him something was... similar, but you weren't you weren't there for a second. But uh, he said that he kind of mm. would like to dabble with electronic music and possibly in the future. Okay. Yeah. I, I did some stuff, uh, yeah, when I was 13 to 15 on, on my PC. Dance, trance uh, was around the year 2000, but yeah. after that. Well, other other than that, um, what is something that's out of genre for you that you really like to listen to? Hmm. 
I really like to listen to pop music some for some times. Old, uh, older stuff like 90s. I'm, I'm uh, born in the 80s, and and so 90s music is some some kind of yeah remembering good times, childhoods, no problems, all fine. And um, yeah, I got some some playlists on on Spotify for my own with stuff, old Britney Spears stuff, old Backstreet Boys, all the funny stuff. But it reminds me on of good times. I love boy band music, so <clears throat> I'm right I'm right oh, there yeah. with you. I had all of them. That's Backstreet Boys, 98 music. Degrees, O Town. I had all the CDs. I, yeah. I, had, I had five. A <laughs> uh, couple, a couple more questions, Chris, and we'll let you go. Uh, if, yeah. if all of a sudden, you one of your songs just got you millions and millions of dollars, what, what would be the first thing that you would spend money on? Like, what's your big toy to yourself that you're buying? A real record studio. Really? Like a bunch of gear, yeah. and so you could just keep working on your craft even more great 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 rooms great gear maybe a guy who, who mixes and masters the stuff um and and yeah lots of time hopefully to to reduce my my working time i'm working in it in a, in a government and uh, 40 hours per week and i'd like to reduce it a lot to make new music so i'd look, would like to spend the money to yeah that's a good for answer. This recording studio and having more time. My last question for you, sir, is uh, what is a piece of musical? I ask everybody this question. What's a piece of musical advice that somebody in the industry has given you that kind of made you take your career more seriously? Or when you were younger, a really terrible mistake you made that you don't want any starting up musician to make? Some years ago, a guy told me that you have to get a label to... Um, make music and if you don't have a label you got no chance to bring your music to the people to release stuff to do videos and that's today totally bullshit you can do it all on your own you got you need time okay you need some people for for mixing mastering maybe some photographer or something but um, when you got time and maybe a bit money to to uh, buy some stuff for home recording you can Get along. Distro kit is isn't um, is kind of cheap. You can really, with some dollars, you can get your music up to Spotify, Apple Music, and then it's okay. Then then comes the promo part. It's it's a hard thing too, and lots of stuff you have to learn. But you don't need a label. It makes a lot easier. Yeah, a label with a lot of contacts and and uh, money maybe that that can. Uh, help you reaching some career points, but it's not necessary. Yeah. I agree. I agree with you. Exactly. You can, you can exactly. do anything. You can do anything if you put your mind to it. You can yeah. do it yep. if you put your back into it. Tell them Ice Cube. Yay, yay, yay. Hell yeah. Chris, I appreciate you, brother. <laughs> this is a lot of fun, man. Have a excellent slumber, which I imagine you'll be getting to shortly. But uh, don't be a stranger. You're welcome back anytime. We appreciate your support. Sure. You're you're awesome, man. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Have a great time. Bye, ladies and gentlemen. Chris Berger. Yeah, hell yeah. Bye. Hell yeah. Woo.